Welcome to another Chaligans video. I believe many of you have owned the MC750 vertical antenna, which work from 7 MHz all the way up to 50 MHz. And today, we're talking about a loading coil, which is uh, an accessories, works on 80 meter bands, which work with the MC750, can make your MC750 to work on the entire 80 meter band to extend the operating frequency range. And let's see how it works. First of all, we want to set up our antenna MC750 as usual. And today we are setting up on the grass with the uh, tripod and want to put the base on top of that. And now we install the antenna arm. And then normally we will want you will install the 7 megahertz coil here or directly put the web here. But for 80 meter band, what you want to do, you put the accessory directly on the top of the antenna arm. And then we put the telescopic whip on top of the coil. And this is the setup. And next thing we will do, the next thing we will do, we'll see how, what will be the length for it to operate correctly. Let's see. Okay, now we have uh, the coil and the whip already set up. The next thing we want to do, we want to extend the telescopic whip to its full length, which means every section you want to be fully extended. And this is to uh, make sure later we will use a VNA to look at the SWR figure in order to know how much further we will need to shorten the antenna whip to meet the, uh, to the, the frequency to meet the 80 meter bands. Now we already set up the radios already, uh, the supplied with the MC750 and the coax cable already connected and the coax cable are another end will go to the VNA. And now we will use the VNA together um, to tune the antenna to 80 meter bands. Let's go. Now we look at the VNA. We set the start frequency at 3 megahertz and the stop frequency at 4.5 uh, megahertz. And then we can see the lowest SWR reading is 3.5 megahertz around there. We will find it that the uh, frequency is already within the uh, 80 meter band amateur radio band. And uh, you might find different results if you go to a different park, if you have different radios, you have different ground conditions or different surroundings, you might find it different, but will not be a very big issue. You just according to what you find and uh, tune your antenna accordingly and that will be fine. And for, for now, if we, from our readings, 3.5 megahertz, if we want to go higher, the frequency that we want to operate, for instance, we want to go to th uh, 3.6, 3.7. What we want to do, we go to the, when we go to the uh, telescopic whip again. We, we will shorten the learn of the telescopic whip and we come back again to see if we meet our uh, ideal readings. Now I'm uh, shortening the antenna a little bit and we come back to do VNA again and see the current result. And you can see now it's a, oh, it's a 3.9 megahertz right now. So it's a, from 3.5 megahertz to all the way to the 3.9 megahertz now. If you want to operate on the middle of something, what you want to do is just uh, operate to extend or shorten the lines within this cell, uh, uh, within this range. And this is how to uh, work MC750 together with the 80 meter band coil. This is it, and this is an accessory. Let's do a summarize. We want to set up, set the 80 meter coil on the top of the uh, antenna arm, and we want to um, put the telescopic whip on top of the uh, coil. And the next thing we want to do, we want to extend the uh, telescopic whip to its full length. Every section needs to be fully extended. And, and next step, we will go to the VNA. We use the coax cable, a VNA or antenna analyzer. We want to see what is the current SWRS, and we want to uh, form from shorten the telescoping whip to meet, to make the frequency SWR the lowest go into 
the 80 meter band range, which is 3.5 megahertz to 4 megahertz. And that's it. This is uh, all about today's video. Do you have any questions? Leave a comment. Catch you on next one.